What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the December Physique Update. Sorry I've been so inactive on YouTube lately. Just been busy with finals and just, to be honest, pretty lazy. So I guess let's get started on this. Um, this is my Physique Update for the month of December. Usually I do these on December 1st, but uh, about three weeks later on this one. So last Physique Update was November 10th, I believe, and this one is... December 20th. So without further ado, let's get to the posing part of the video and I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. All right, welcome to the physique part of the video. Here I am in my apartment. This was about, I guess, a week ago. Um, here are the numbers from November. Um, things, as you'll see, didn't change too much between this and last month. That's because um, my volume has been going down. So even in some spots like I believe my ass took the biggest hit, no pun intended. Um, it went down three eighths of an inch, and that's because I've been doing a good deal less squat volume, especially with that. Um, I'll talk about it later, but I pulled my groin in the gym, and um, so that kept me out of squatting a little bit. So I didn't get as much volume there as I would have liked. Also, even this week, now that it's feeling better, I'm avoiding lunges. So my legs and uh, glutes as well aren't going to be as um, getting as much volume, so they're not going to be growing as quickly right now. But I'm pretty happy with how lean I'm looking. Um, even my weight, it only went down a little bit because I'm not focusing on gaining weight if my volume's down. Because without that growing uh, volume accumulation, then the amount of uh, weight that I would gain would be more prioritized as fat gain as opposed to muscle gain. That's because you need that increasing volume to be stimulating muscle growth. So my weight went down a little bit, but uh, my chest for some reason went up, which is um, pretty nice. Uh, I've been hitting a lot of bench PRs this month, uh, 275 for five, which I was having trouble hitting that for, I guess, two or three a few weeks prior. So the peak is going well. We'll see how it goes after I took a little bit of time off. But overall, happy with how I'm looking and... Um, Hoping to keep this up through this mock meet and then hopefully my volume goes back up and make some more gains. Now, as you can see, not too much of a change between the previous month. What happened was um, I'm peaking for a mock meet right now so my training volume has significantly declined. So that means I'm not going to be making as much muscle because again progressive overload is the main stimulus that makes you gain muscle. That's the idea that increasing volume in the gym is going to help you gain more muscle mass. But as I'm trying to decrease my fatigue, my training volume has been coming down so that I perform better uh, when I do this mock meet. So uh, training wise, I'm going to be putting up all my numbers that I hit from November 10th is going to be, I think, on this side. And then from all my PRs for around December 20th are going to be on this side. Um, the biggest things there is my conventional deadlift. Went from 450 for 4 to 525 for 3. The RPE was a little worse, but it's a big gain in my conventional deadlift. Now I'm getting used to lifting heavy with that, so it's very exciting. But again, my sumo is definitely better right now. I hit 565 for 2, but another reason why I haven't gained as much strength as I would have liked or as much size is because I had to take a couple uh, days off because I did pull my... Um, Pulled my groin. I'll show you what said I did that. It was the day that I went for 565 for a double. Hit that pretty nicely and then I was being stupid. Probably hit the 565 at about a 9, 8.59. The goal for the day was a 9 so I was like alright if I get my mind right for this I can hit 585 at a 9 and it did not happen that way. got one rep second one I probably could have maybe grinded uh, hitched it up but decided not to and then when I walked away I walked like 20 yards I realized I had some pain and pulling on my groin so that's when I pulled it so yeah after I pulled my groin I had to take a little bit of time off um, took 
think about probably four or five days mainly without much lifting, mainly just uh, some cycling, rolling it out. Now it's starting to feel good again. So my peak for this mock meet hasn't been optimal, of course, because I haven't been able to train uh, as much as I would have liked two weeks out. But uh, I think I have a heavy single coming up tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. It'll be the first time I low bar squatted in some time, but it's going to be exciting nonetheless. And then I have a heavy single on sumo deadlift coming up and also bench uh, sometime in there also. So that's pretty much going to do it for this physique update. Thank you again for watching. Again, I apologize for being as inactive as I've been. I'll have that mock meat footage up for you soon. And there's a possibility that a 10 to 20K calorie challenge is coming up in the near future, but we will see. So thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in that next video. Peace.